I started speaking up more in class. I started becoming more confident. I started taking more opportunities to speak in front of people. It was really like the gates were opening. For the first time in my life, I felt open. I wasn't hiding anymore. I wasn't trying to be the quiet person. I wasn't being a wall. This is basically a video on how to stop giving a shit once and for all and how to develop extreme self-awareness so that you can lean into whoever you are, be yourself, walk into any social environment, not care what people think because you truly know who you are. The reason that these experiences are embarrassing is because they were huge hits to my ego. Um, I was not uh, extremely self-aware or I lived in denial a lot when I was younger. I was very shy, very quiet, and I didn't want people to know who I really was. I didn't want people to know that I was very awkward, so I didn't really say anything when I was younger. I, I delayed building social skills and connecting with people because I didn't want to deal with people rejecting me. Most embarrassing situations and how they actually helped me. I found over the course of my life that embarrassing situations can actually help you. They can help free you from caring what people think. So when I was in high school, I went to a dance and um, my one of my friends or something like pulled me over and her friends came over and all these girls started dancing around me and they're like, yeah, you know, it was, it was high school, I was awkward. Um, one girl was like grinding on me, sort of, but not really, like in a PG way. But then all these other girls were just like dancing around me. And I got so nervous because I wasn't used to the attention that I started to like freeze up. I wasn't dancing, I was all stiff. Everybody was having fun. And then they like all just like looked at me and I'm just like all stiff and like, this thing used to happen where if I got really nervous, my face would tighten up and I couldn't smile. Um, and I was always like afraid that that would happen when I was like kissing a girl. <laughs> That's probably why I didn't kiss a girl for a long time. But I, I like stumbled away from that situation and like, it was really embarrassing. Everybody was like, what the fuck is wrong with him? He's like surrounded by girls. It's probably the best day of his life, but I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. So that was an embarrassing situation. <clears throat> um, and there were a lot of embarrassing situations like that, that I dealt with in high school where I would just freeze up and tense up and I couldn't like... It was, I was awkward. Okay, so college comes around. I'm thinking I'm 18 years old. I have a fresh start. I'm going to college. All right, let's do this. Nobody knows I'm shy. Nobody knows my history. I'm just going to be outgoing. Well, it turns out that when you are very quiet and don't talk to a lot of people all through high school, and then you go to college, and then all of a sudden you try to talk to everybody, you're a little awkward. You're not very good at socializing with people. You say random weird stuff. You don't pick up on social cues. You're a little bit behind in the social department. So my first couple of weeks of being at college, somebody made a, somebody in my dorm made a Facebook or a Twitter profile about me called Awkward Boy Troy. And it was a bunch of quotes from me saying just like, uh, you guys want to go to the cafeteria? LOL. And then everybody that read those tweets in the dorms could like picture my voice saying it with like an uh in front of it because I said uh a lot because I was awkward. So uh, it was all meant for fun. There were other Twitter pages made about other people that were like, oh, this girl's hair problems or whatever. And it was it was supposed to be funny. Um, I really took it personally though because I didn't want to be awkward. I didn't want to be shy. I didn't want to be viewed that way. I thought of myself as kind of cool. I kept myself in shape. I was decent at sports. I was like relatively athletic. Not super athletic, but relatively athletic. So I didn't view myself, like I wanted to view myself as a cool person, but everybody was viewing me as awkward. Fine from everybody else's perspective, but I, like I said, it really took a hit to my ego. So I retracted again. I think I became quiet, probably depressed. And uh, I, yeah, honestly, I just hated it. I was resisting what is. I was resisting just being awkward and being fine with it. Uh, and I did that until sophomore year of college. I started to lean into it a little bit more. And um, okay, so this is, this, is how that this is how that helped me, okay? So these embarrassing situations kept happening in high school and college where I would like freeze up in social situations or I couldn't make a move on a girl or I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. I couldn't talk to people. And the reason that these situations actually helped me is because you realize after, you know, everybody looks at you and like you're embarrassed or everybody's making fun of you and everybody follows a Twitter page and they're all like making fun of you online. You realize afterwards that nothing actually happens. You're not damaged at all. Sure, it's embarrassing, but like you look at your hands, you're still here. 
it didn't phase you. You're fine. Um, so social embarrassment, when this kept happening, I kind of realized, like, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if you get embarrassed. So this kind of led into later when I started wanting to get better with girls, when I started wanting to develop social skills. What does it matter if I walk up to a girl and say, hey, what's up? I thought you were attractive and I wanted to meet you. What does it matter if like I come off really weird or awkward or it's in the wrong situation or it's at an awkward time or whatever and she like laughs and other people are like, what the fuck? Like, what does that matter when I'm doing it and I'm getting experience talking to somebody? You know, that experience became more important to me than the embarrassment of, oh, I was, I was awkward or it was embarrassing or I said the wrong thing or everybody laughed at me. That stuff became unimportant compared to what I was actually getting from those experiences. So, um, when I was 19 years old, I started leaning into the whole, ugh, leaning into the whole awkward thing. And I, I was in a co-ed dorm freshman and sophomore year. And I remember uh, some of the girls in my dorm, I just like walked over one day and I was like, hey, what's up? They invited me in their room. I was being awkward, but I just embraced it. I even told them, yeah, I'm kind of awkward, but I wanted to say hi. <laughs> and, uh, they invited me in and I wasn't judging myself anymore. So I, by leaning into it, it actually helped me. And um, so that embarrassing situation of everybody calling me awkward turned out in turned into a good thing. Sorry, I feel like I'm kind of frantic in this video. Oh my God. Uh, I'm just desperately trying to help somebody online who's dealing with embarrassing social situations and lack of social skills. And I'm telling you, it's possible to just like let that shit go and stop giving a shit what people think and lean into who you are. I really hope I'm, I'm reaching at least one person. Anyway. I'm kind of self-conscious right now. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Whatever. All right. So college. Fast forward to around age 21, almost 22. I'm working with the softball team. I'm training. I'm studying to be an athletic trainer. Sports medicine field. Rehab. Stuff like that. I'm working with the softball team. I have a mentor. My mentor tells me, Troy, when you give these, these softball players shoulder massages, sometimes they say you seem uncomfortable doing it. You seem shy about doing it. They don't want you to give them massages. They want somebody else to do it. So that's my feedback for you. And it fucking hit me. I'm like, the fuck? I'm making people uncomfortable? I can't even give people a massage? Like, how long have people been, felt uncomfortable around me? Like, my whole mind was going crazy. I'm like, I'm just walking in every single day to this clinical rotation making people uncomfortable. This is my worst fucking nightmare. I don't want to be like a weird medical professional who's making people uncomfortable. What the fuck? This is horrible. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to be that person. So that really, really hit me. That was really embarrassing. Let me tell you why that was one of the best experiences of my life. Like figuring out, even if it was really embarrassing, figuring out that I was making people uncomfortable and figuring out, it's just, yeah, like somebody telling me like, Troy, you make people uncomfortable. Um, because it motivated the fuck out of me to just eliminate all social anxiety or awkwardness from my life. So that next year, what I started doing is, uh, first off, I found somebody on YouTube who was a confidence coach and who taught people how to overcome social anxiety. And what he did was he took guys out on the streets of London and he had them approach girls and just like say hi, give them a compliment, try to start a conversation. And I was like, that looks like it could work because I'm afraid of that. So I'm gonna try it. The first thing that I ever did was I asked a cashier at a store where she was from and she started talking to me. And I was like, I can just ask somebody where they're from and they start talking to me. I was, I was that anxious in social situations that that was like, that was big. So then I started approaching girls on my college campus asking for directions, then asking for directions and giving a compliment, then just straight up giving a compliment, then just being like, hey, what's up? I wanna, I like to meet three new strangers a day because uh, I have social anxiety and I'm trying to get more confident. I'm shy, I'm trying to get more confident. Um, where are you from? What do you study? Oh, cool, blah, blah, blah. Three minute conversation, boom, move on. I started getting really, really, really confident in social situations. 
to the point where I could just walk up to a girl, tell her that I thought she was attractive, and whether she rejected me or not, I didn't give a shit. Re like, rejection. I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't even remember any rejections. I remember some girls just, like, smiling and being flattered because I was coming from such an authentic, straightforward place. There was no hiding. It was like, I could just walk up, shoot my shot, and then some girl, like, every once in a while, I would meet a girl that, for some reason, just, like, I hit it off with. And I started learning how to handle social situations, how to navigate them, how to approach girls. I started speaking up more in class. I started becoming more confident. I started taking more opportunities to speak in front of people. It was really like the gates were opening. For the first time in my life, I felt open. I wasn't hiding anymore. I wasn't trying to be the quiet person. I wasn't being a wallflower. And I had missed out on so many opportunities from age zero to age 21 or 22, um, where like, yeah, I, I just became obsessed with throwing myself in new situations that challenged me. So that embarrassing situation where everybody thought I was awkward and people were telling me you're awkward, making Twitter pages about me, somebody like telling me like, yeah, you've been awkward, like you're making people uncomfortable. All those embarrassing things that people were saying to me that were embarrassing to me, that were hits to my ego, motivated me to become the best version of myself. They motivated me to become more social. And, um, yeah, so uh, I started making a habit of even putting myself in more situations that were embarrassing. Like, you know, I, I started going out to bars or just on like busy streets, depending on what city I was in, if there were enough people, like I would just walk up to the girls and try to shoot my shot, have conversation with them, uh, say hi to random people, try to make friends. I started putting myself in more social environments. I was so nervous to go out to the bar the first time that I went um, by myself, my goal was just to go there for 10 minutes, went in the bar for 10 minutes and then went out, you know, cause I knew there, it was be, it would be hectic. There would be a lot of drunk people. Um, it was actually a bar slash club. And the next time my goal was to talk to one person, boom, talk to one person left next time, talk to three people. Okay. Next time have a conversation that lasts more than a minute. It was like this progressive overload, this progressive social overload. And also, it involved a little bit of ego destruction. I loved getting embarrassed because every time I did, it was like it was like checking me. It was putting me in my place and like making me realize, okay, I have work to do. Instead of like trying to act cool all the time and just being quiet and hoping people just think that I'm cool, um, it was like, okay, actually put yourself in situ social situations. Learn how to talk to people. Learn how to make friends. Learn how to talk to girls. Learn how to do this stuff. And... Like I just got better at it and these embarrassing situations, like if I, if I walked up and I was like kind of awkward or if I um, <clears throat> said something stupid or if a girl's friend came over and was like, don't talk to her, uh, pulled her friend away, like you random guy, what are you doing talking to my friend? And I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> cause that happens sometimes at bars, girls can be really protective of their friends or jealous sometimes that their friends getting attention and they're not. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> so I started doing this stuff, uh, this progressive overload and embarrassment became like, <sighs> the whole point of this video is to tell you that if you embarrass yourself in social situations, all that happens, as long as you like have the right attitude and, you, and you're able to realize this, which after this video, you should be able to realize this because I gave examples and I'm talking about like, re just realize that. Those embarrassing situations, for one, can't hurt you. You're still the same after they happen. Oh my God, people are talking about you. They don't care. They don't care about you as much as they as much as you think. Okay, the next day they'll forget. Whatever. Or maybe they're still making fun of you. In which case, they're a loser and they have nothing better to do with their time. Uh, and then you realize that um, you can just handle embarrassment, and it doesn't matter. You stop giving a shit what people think. I became the guy when I was like 25, 26, who, when I go out to the bar with my friends, I'm just the guy that goes and talks to people. Like, no hesitation. I don't care. I don't care what happens. So that's how you really stop giving a shit. You, real, you embarrass, you like, these embarrassing situations, you look at them and then you go, oh, they didn't hurt me. And then you put yourself in more situations where you could potentially be embarrassed. And then if you are embarrassed, cool. Nothing happens. One more example that I forgot to write down. Right now, you're probably watching this on YouTube or on Facebook. 
uh, a friend of mine from a friend of mine from college, one of my like early roommates. Um, he actually told me one day that he he. I made this other YouTube channel that was more about like dating and like pickup and it honestly was kind of cringe to be honest. Uh, it wasn't really in my lane. Talking about overcoming social anxiety and confidence is more in my lane. But this friend, um, or this former friend, told me that he watches my videos to laugh at me. And like, I just like think to myself, like at first it's like, wow dude, that's kind of hurtful. He just watched my videos to laugh at me. He actually told me, uh, I don't know, he, he said some things to me that were kind of like hurtful. But at the end of the day, it's like, okay, he's watching my videos to laugh at me. I'm spending time making videos trying to help people, helping people. People have told me I've helped them with my videos, with my coaching. So, um, I like what I'm doing, I like what I'm doing. <laughs> and... If somebody laughs at it, it's like, okay, they clicked a laughing emoji on my Facebook posts, or they're just telling me, haha, I laughed at that video. You're, you're dumb, whatever, okay? And it's like, nothing happens. Block on Facebook if you want, cool. But like, I don't know, I, it's like, we're so afraid of what other people think but really what, what actually happens when people think certain things about us? For one, like I said, I, I can just, if somebody laughs at my videos, I can still just keep making videos. I can take feedback if there's any useful feedback there and then I can just keep making videos. What's the big deal? And second of all, I think when somebody hates you or, or hates on you or really does actually think badly about you, because that's what we're all afraid of, right? Somebody thinks badly of us or somebody is like, making fun of us. We're afraid of being ridiculed. That says a little bit more about them than, than you. I mean, they, they really have the time to do that. They really have the time, like you're living rent free in their head. <laughs> That's kind of funny when you think about it. If, if somebody else is caring that much about you, that you think like, if you're like, oh man, I'm re I really care what this person thinks. Oh, they're making fun of me in their head. They think badly about me. You're living rent free in that person's head. They're spending so much time just thinking about you. What, I mean, if, if that's even true, right? If they are thinking about you. So, yeah. To conclude with this video, just being embarrassed doesn't matter. Do something to go put yourself in a potentially embarrassing situation. Go give a public speech and try to give it the best that you can. And then if you get embarrassed, realize it doesn't matter. That's your call to action for this video. Do something, put yourself in front of people. And also after that, focus on what you really care about. Like making these videos for me is something I really care about. Making sure that I'm putting healthy food in my body is something that I really care about. Exercising, working out is something that I really care about. Putting myself in more social situations, connecting with people, having deeper connections with people is something that I really care about. So I'm gonna focus on those things. And for the small amount of people, if you're watching this, if you want to laugh, if you want to sit there, if you want to do like, cool, do it, live your life. Cause I'm living mine. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do that call to action. I'll see you next time.